Hey everybody, this is Erica the Technology Nerd Likes to Film Stuff and I'm at CES 2016 Intel booth checking out RealSense camera technology and how it's being used. When I was younger, after playing The Sims, the 2000 version, I had a vision. I envisioned that someone could walk around me with a camera and record a 3D image of me that I could create into an avatar to play within a game or inside of a virtual world. And today they did just that. Anybody can do it with a tablet that is enabled with Intel RealSense camera technology and the Iranian platform. So here is how it was put into the Fallout 4 game. We made a 3D scan of yourself here with a 3D scanning technology, 3D scanning equipped device. And then we put your 3D model into Uranium platform. And Uranium transformed the 3D scan into a fully playable avatar. So that you can play with your 3D double to get like Fallout 4, uh, GTA 5, FIFA, Skyrim, this kind of thing. And it's just as simple as that. You create a 3D model and using the Uranium platform you can play with yourself. Like for the first time really you. So look how simple this process is. Here we have an HP Spectre times 2 This is a 2-in-1 tablet that has the Intel RealSense R200 camera that's built into it. And we just have this guy who's walking around the subject to capture him. So this R200 camera that's built into the tablet uses two infrared cameras to capture depth. And the high resolution camera captures 1080p. The dual infrared imagers calculate depth by using stereoscopic techniques similar to how the human eye senses depth. Our depth perception is provided by both of our eyes working together. So they say this camera provides reliable depth information even in darker areas and in shadows as well as capturing flat or textureless surfaces. And according to Uranium's website, in order to have a scan that is well suited for avatar creation, they highly recommend keeping a neutral face, having your neck completely visible, hair tied back, no scarf, and homogeneous lighting. So now after checking out the low resolution sample, they send it to the It Sees It 3D cloud to get the high resolution render. And here it is. So then they import my 3D model into the Uranium avatar editor. And you can see my mesh model here. They align my eyes, my mouth, and then they align my head on this strange body here. That's not my body. I'm really small and compact, but it's interesting to see. So they line where my head is on this particular body and they adjust the height and they also scale it upward to make it the right size and there it is and now all they have to do is import my avatar into the fallout 4 game starting starting loading loading and there i am that's really 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 creepy we now I get to play around in the post-apocalyptic Boston in the year 2287, 210 years after a devastating nuclear war. Whew, I wish my legs were that long. That is definitely not my body. So ultimately, this is a really cool experience, and you notice that my face is just staying flat. In the common FAQs on Uranium's website, it says, Is my Uranium avatar compatible with facial animations? Question. And the answer is yes it is, as long as a character's face animation was a built-in feature of the game itself. Another frequently asked question is, Is the platform compatible with any game? And the answer is, for now, Uranium works with a few emblematic games of different genres, but the list will grow with each new release of the platform. And also, can I use my Uranium avatar on console games? And the answer is the beta version of the platform only works on PC games. The first compatible console games are expected in 2016, so this year. So it's crazy that anyone can do this right now in a real sense enabled 2-in-1 tablet PC. You can do this in games like Grand Theft Auto, Skyrim, Fallout 4, Arma 3. So you guys should seriously check this out. I hope that it only just gets better and better. So check out the links down below for Intel's website, also Uranium's website. None of this was sponsored, by the way. This is just me thinking that this is really, really cool. So thank you everybody for watching. This has been Erica the Technology Nerd Likes to Film Stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out my channel for more stuff from CES 2016. I still have tons of videos to upload. So this was a really awesome experience. Good night.